Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one. This is Legally Engineer. Welcome to Legally Engineered and we are here to discuss another topic in obligations and contracts. Again, I am attorney Pembri A. Marali. And I am attorney A. Pembri. And we are here to discuss Section 2, Obligations with a Period and Section 3, Alternative so this is still part of the different kinds of obligations. So let's start right away with Article 1193 to start with obligations with a period. Attorney Huy, ano ba ng Article 1193? Article 1193, obligations for whose fulfillment a day certain has been fixed shall be demandable only when that day comes. Obligations with a resolutory period take effect at once but terminate upon the arrival of the day certain. A day certain is understood to be that which must necessarily come, although it may not be known when. If the uncertainty consists in whether the day will come or not, the obligation is conditional and it shall be regulated by the rules of the preceding section. Alright, so the provision of the law that you've just mm -hmm. mentioned, Attorney Uy, it talks about an obligation with a period. Yes. And it's very important for us, before going further in our discussion, to define what is an obligation with a period. So, an obligation yes. with a period is one whose consequences are subjected in one way or another to the expiration of the said period or term. So, bago natin yun palalimin pa ulit, may nabanggit dito na period or term. Ano bang meaning ng period or term, Attorney Uy? A period is a future and certain event upon the arrival of which the obligation subject to it either arises or is terminated. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, ang keyword doon is it is future and certain event in contrast ulit doon sa condition na future and uncertain event. Yes, and yes. yung period na yan, it is a day that is certain which must necessarily come. Although it may not be known when, like uh, yung nasabi natin, death of a person. Hindi natin alam kung kailan mamatay uh, ang isang tao, but definitely that day or that period would come. So again, siguro i-distinguish pa natin na mas malalim yung period and condition. Nabanggit ni Atty. Uy kanina, yung as to fulfillment, di ba? As to fulfillment, yung period, a period is a certain event which must happen sooner or later at a date known beforehand or at a time which cannot be determined. Uh -huh. Yung condition naman, it is an uncertain event. Yes. And as to time, yes. ang period, it refers only to the future. No? Uh -huh. it, it cannot uh, refer to something that's, al that's already in the past. Yes. And ang condition naman, it may refer also to a past event unknown to yeah. the parties. How about us to influence on the obligation of our When it comes to period, a period merely fixes the time for the effectivity of the obligation. If suspensive, it cannot prevent the birth of the obligation in due time. If resolutory, it does not annul the fact of its existence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yung uh -oh. condition naman, condition. it causes an obligation to arise or to cease. Sabi kasi kanina uh -oh. ni Atty. O, yung period, pinifix niya lang yung time, time of the effectivity. effectivity. no? Pero kapag condition, magde-determine yan kung mag arise ba or mag cease yung obligation uh -oh. na meron tayo. Okay? Yes. How about as to uh, yung effect niya when left to debtor's will, Atty. Yes. A period which depends upon the will of the debtor empowers the court to fix the duration thereof. Mm -hmm. So, kapag yung period nakadepende dun sa will so, of the debtor, debtor, the court has the power to, to fix, fix the, duration. the duration depending on the intention mm -hmm. of the parties. As you guys, the condition naman, if it depends upon the sole will of the debtor, it would invalidate the, the obligation. obligation. So, yes. potestative on the part of the debtor, therefore, it is invalid. As to retroactivity naman, nabanggit namin yan na uh, last lecture that we have. Mm -hmm. Yung retroactivity pagdating sa period, period. unless uh, there, unless there is an agreement to the contrary, the arrival of a period does not have any contrary effect. 
any retroactive effect. Yes, it does not have any retroactive effect. Effect. However, pagdating naman sa condition, the happening of a condition has retroactive effect as discussed earlier on. Like a condition, a period must be possible. If the period is impossible, for example, February February 13, yung nakalagay na period, possible ba yun? Anyway, February 13. Impossible. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if that's the case, the obligation will be void. So, pwede rin palang maging impossible yung period na inilagay mo, such as February 30, which does not exist. So, there are different kinds of period or term um, according to effect. No. We have suspensive and resolutory. So, we had discussed earlier that in suspensive period, the obligation begins only from a day certain upon the arrival of the period. Mm -hmm. And in yes. there, what is merely suspended is not the obligation itself, but merely its demandability. So, uh, actually, bago pa naman mag yung suspensive period na yan, you already have a right. It's it's an inchoate right, no? And you would only be able to demand that pag dumating yung suspensive period na sinasabi. As regards resolutory period naman, the obligation is valid up to a day certain terminates upon the arrival of the period. Mm -hmm. So the obligation is demandable at once mm -hmm. and the arrival of the period will extinguish or terminate the obligation. Yes. Now, according to source, mm -hmm. ang ating uh, uh, meron tayong tinatawag na legal period, conventional or voluntary period, period and judicial period. Mm -hmm. From the word itself, legal period, when the period is provided by law. Mm -hmm. Kagaya ng payment of income taxes for yes. individuals. Mm -hmm. It is set every uh, April 15th of the year. Yes. So, so kapag naman conventional mm -hmm. and voluntary, it, when the period is agreed to by the parties. So, kung ano yung nakalagay sa kontrata mm -hmm. nyo, ng pag-agreehan ninyo, so yes. that would be a conventional yes. and voluntary period. So, judicial period, when the period is fixed by the court. Mm -hmm. Yung sinabi natin kanina na when the when the uh, when the period depends mm -hmm. upon and the sole bill of, of the debtor, so the court has the power to fix the judicial, judicial period. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, according to definiteness, uh, yung meron tayong definite and indefinite definite period. period. Masasabi natin na definite ang period when it is fixed or it is known when it will come. Um, Pag alam mo na. Definite alimbawa, period, um, uh, January 31. January 31. So, it's a definite period kasi yes, alam mo naman beforehand. Mm -hmm. Indefinite period, when it is not fixed or it is not known when it will come. Mm -hmm. Where the period is not fixed but the period is intended, the courts are usually empowered by law to fix, fix the, the same. same. So, uh, yung unang part ng sinabi natin dito, kapag, alam mo yun, um, fix na nga yung period pero hindi mo alam kung kailan darating. Yeah. As to death, yeah. example, yeah. yung death. Alam, alam mo darating yan, pero hindi mo alam kung kailan. Tapos yung pangalawa naman, uh, hindi naman daw nag-set ng, uh, hindi na-fix yung period dun sa napag-usapan. Uh, uh, but there is an intention on the parties to set a period. In that case, yung court daw ang uh, may power to uh, fix the same period according to the intention of the parties. So, puntahan natin ngayon ang Article 1194. No? So, Article 1194, In case of law deterioration or improvement of the thing before the arrival of the day certain, the rules in Article 1189 shall be observed. Mm -hmm. So, yes, natin yan. Under 1189, no? So, we highly suggest that you go back to um, our discussion in Article 1189 kasi it's the same thing, no? Na rule, uh, as laid down by law under Article 1189 na... So, parehas lang kung suspensive yes. condition yung 1189. Ito namang 1194, suspensive, suspensive period. period. And uh, the loss deterioration or improvement of the thing happened before the arrival of the period. Mm -hmm. So, take note of that. no? So, different cases yun. Very important. Now, let's proceed with Article 1195. Article 1195 provides that anything paid or delivered before the arrival of the period, the obliger being unaware of the period or believing that the obligation has become due and demandable, may be recovered with the fruits and interests na meron tayo. So, yes. ano may sinasabi dyan, Attorney Uy, sa Article 1195? 
Yes, Article 1195 applies only to real obligations or obligations to give. It is similar to Article 1188, Paragraph 2, which allows the recovery of what has been paid by mistake before the fulfillment of the suspensive condition. The reason, it is because the creditor cannot unjustly enrich himself by retaining the thing or money received before the arrival of the period. Mm -hmm. So, pwede kasing mangyari sa totoong buhay na naakala mo due, due na yung uh, obligation mo. So, alimbawa, mm -hmm. nagbigay Alimbawa, may utang ka. So, akala mo, due na yung utang mo, nagbayad ka. Yes. And then later on, na-realize mo, ate, batay ka, next month pa pala yung due. Ang sinasabi lang ng batas, in that case, there was a payment by mistake. Mm -hmm. And in that case, pwede mong bawiin for the meantime, na hindi pa naman nag-a-arrive yung suspensive period, pwede bawiin muna kung ano yes. yung na-ibayin. You, you may recover. Recover muna. Okay? Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi pa naman nga due and demandable yeah. as yet. Okay? Uh, attorney Uy, bigyan natin ng example yung mga viewers okay. natin kung paano ba pwede maging applicable itong Article 1195 in real life transactions. Mm -hmm. So, in our example, Nyoy owes Nina 2,000 pesos which was supposed to be paid on December 31, 2020. Mm -hmm. However, by mistake, Nyoy, the debtor, paid his obligation on December 31, 2019. Mm -hmm. oh, so, there is already payment by mistake mm -hmm. dito ng 2019 and the, the, the indebtedness is due on 2020. Mm -hmm. oh. There is an so, na order. kung bakit may mistake kasi nga one year pa dapat. Pa dapat. Uh, may one Ito year pa siya no? yes. para makapagbayad ng utang na yan. Eh, masyado namang maaga nagbayad yes. itong si Nyoy. So, assuming that today is June 30, assuming. Nyoy can recover the 2,000 pesos plus 120 pesos which is the interest for one half year at the legal rate of 12% or total of 2,120. Mm -hmm. okay. So, 2,120, it stands for yung 2,000 na principal na ibinayan plus yung interest mm -hmm. for one half year at the rate of 12%. Mm -hmm. So, so kasi, eh, pressure natin na June 30, 2020. 2020 ngayon. So, meron ng 6 months. Oh, Nag-lapse. Yes. So, kaya may 120 pesos na interest yung uh, payment made by Nyoy to Nina. So, uh, makikita naman natin na from December 31 to 2019 yun, sinabi mm -hmm. ni Atty. Uy, may 6 months na naglapse until uh, June 2020. Okay. No? Kaya yung computation natin dyan ng uh, 120 pesos, yan yung 12% legal rate. So, 12% divided by uh, uh, times, times 2,000 uh, divided by uh, 2 Six, kasi... Oh. An, uh, by annual, kalahati ng taon kasi 6 months pa lang naman yan kaya nagkaroon ng computation na 2,120 so for those na nagsasabi na sa pag-aaral ng batas, walang mathematics Meron nagkakamali kayo uh, no? so at least you should know so the basic arithmetic so 2,000 times mga 0. 0.06 yan, yan, yan. 0. 0.06 kasi 0. 0.12 pag 12% mm -hmm. in mo sa 2, so galing mo sa math <laughs> ayan, so but however guys, we have to caution you kasi there can be no right to recover Over. if uh -oh. Noy had knowledge of the period. Ibig sabihin, kung alam naman talaga ni Noy na ang pagbabayad niya supposedly ay December 31, 2020 and yet despite the knowledge na December 31, 2020 pa ba, da, dapat bayaran, uh -oh. nag-insist pa rin siya on paying, then yes. in that case, the theory under solution in debity or unjust enrichment obviously will not apply uh -oh. because he is deemed to have impliedly renounced Correct. the period. So, hindi nga mag apply dito yung solution so, in the meeting. Mm -hmm. But, uh, meron ding isa pang yes, instance yes. kung kailan hindi niya pwedeng mag-recover si Nyoy, ito ay kapag the debt had already matured. For example, kagaya kanina, nagbayad siya December 31, 2019. Uh -huh. Tapos, December uh, January 1, 2021 na. 2021. Oh, hindi na niya, hindi na niya pwedeng i-recover yung binayad niya because the due date sure, yung yes. December 30, 2020, nag-expire na, nag-lapse yes, na. Nag-mature na. Uh -oh. Pero, he may recover only the interest. Mm -hmm. From December 31, 2019 to December 31, 2020. Mm -hmm. 
So, tatandaan nyo yun guys, no? It's it's very practical and applicable sa ating uh, daily living and transactions, no? Um, so, napag-usapan natin dyan, Attorney Oy, is that there is a recovery when it comes to an obligation to give or a real obligation. How yes. about when it comes to personal obligations? So, Article 1195 has no application in obligations to do or not to do because as to an obligation to do, it is physically impossible to recover the service rendered. Mm -hmm. And in an obligation not to do, the obliger performs by not doing. He cannot, of course, recover what he has not done. Yes. So, logic. Mm -hmm. Alright, Attorney Uy, let's proceed with Article 1196. So, whenever in an obligation a period is designated, it is presumed to have been established for the benefit of both the debtor and creditor unless from the tenor of the same or other circumstances it should appear that the period has been established in favor of one or of the other <laughs> so dito meron na naman tayong tinatawag na presumption as regards the beneficiality of the yes. period stipulated by the parties and remember guys that in an obligation subject to a period which mm -hmm. is fixed by the parties the period is presumed to have been established for the benefit mm -hmm. of both the creditor and the debtor okay, kasi nag-uusap yan eh so kung may napagkasunduan ng debtor at creditor na period it's uh, it is presumed na yun yung convenient for both of the parties and this means that before the expiration nung period na napag-usapan nila the debtor may not fulfill the, the obligation, obligation and neither may the creditor demand its fulfillment, fulfillment without the consent of the other especially if the latter would be prejudiced or inconvenienced Convenience. thereby and therefore yung presumption na to is ano Only naman irrebatable or disputable pwede namang maribat uh, yung presumption na yan so bigyan natin ng example yung beneficiality na yan si yes. attorney on January 1, the debtor borrowed from the creditor 10,000 pesos payable on December 31 at 18% interest. Mm -hmm. So, here, the debtor cannot pay before December 31 without the consent of C. Mm -hmm. Pwede ba yun eh, attorney, di ba, di ba mas maganda yun? Kasi, magbabayad na nga ako, ayaw mo ba? Kasi, sabi nga sa article... Uh, 1196 whenever a period is designated it is for the benefit of both the creditor and the debtor pwede naman talaga magbayad ahead of time provided na magkoconsent si creditor ngayon kung ayaw niya wala kang magkagawa yes. kasi napag-usapan ninyo kahit na parang ang dating illogical eh hindi na napag-usapan ninyo mm -hmm. neither can the creditor compel the debtor to pay before the expiration of the term mm -hmm. It is presumed that the period designated, which is December 31, has been established for the benefit of both parties. Mm -hmm. So here, the debtor is benefited because he cannot, he yeah. can use the money for one year. The creditor is likewise benefited because of the interest the money would yun earn naman. for one year. Yun naman, yun naman pala yun. Mm -hmm. So ang logic naman nga, kapag nagbayad na, I remember may usapan nga ng interest nga pala yes. dito. Ano? So kapag nagbayad ako ahead of time, eh supposedly kikita pa yung pera ko ng interest. Eh, no? mm -hmm. So uh, loss naman yun, opportunity loss naman yun on the part of the creditor. So yes. in a contract of loan with interest, attorney Oy, Sabi dyan, the term is generally for, for the, the benefit, benefit of, of both the lender and, and the borrower. Ayun nga, is the debtor and creditor. And this is also the case even when there is no interest stipulated. So kahit wala namang interest na stipulated, yes, but, but the, the creditor, creditor receives in case of the interest other benefits by reason of the period. Ayun pa bang pwede dyan? Uh, Oh, for the meantime, okay. para hindi ko magastos yung pera, no, no, no. Diba? Oh, oh. Diba? Oh, oh. at least nasa, ano, nasa pahira mo. Kumikita. Basta, oh, kikita pa. Oh, oh. So, may mga benefits kasi, yung period na yun. So, hindi pwedeng basta-basta lang baliwala eh. Without the consent of the other. Okay. And there is an exception. Siyempre, that's the general rule. Ano? Ang general yes. rule natin, period stipulated is presumed to be for the benefit of, of both. both parties. An mm -hmm. exception to this, however, is when the tenor of the obligation or the circumstances show that it was the intention of the parties to constitute the period for the benefit of either one of the debtor or the creditor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the benefit of the period may be the subject of express stipulation yeah. of the parties. No? So pwedeng ang tenor or yung uh, 
direction ng period is mm-hmm. para sa benefit ng debtor lang or ng creditor, creditor lang. lang. So the first uh, case natin dito is when the term is for the, for benefit, the benefit of, of the debtor, debtor alone. alone. So ito na, yung benefit is for the debtor alone. He cannot be compelled to pay prematurely, but he can if he desires to do so. Oh. Kung gusto niya magbayad ahead of time. time pwede, pero, pero he cannot be compelled to pay before the due date. As for for example, si debtor nang hiram siya kay creditor ng 10,000 10, pesos to be paid within one year without, without interest. interest. So in this case, the period of one year should be deemed intended for the benefit of the debtor only. Yes. And therefore, he can pay any time but he cannot be compelled to pay, to pay before, before one okay. year. So kung halimbawa, pwede kung ako yung debtor no, mm-hmm. nang hiram ako halimbawa ng January 1, 2020, 20. I have until December 31 of 2020 to pay it. Mm-hmm. So prior to De- December 31, 2020, I cannot be compelled as a debtor to pay the loan by the creditor yes. without, of course, my consent. But if you want, you can pay pwede, anytime. Pwede, anytime. Mm-hmm. Kasi it's for my benefit naman. As Even pwede, before. Uh, even before. Basta before. Yes. Even before. Oh. Kung halimbawa, nang utang ko ng January 1, 2020, and January 2, gusto ko nang bayaran, why not? Diba? Uh-huh. So, ganun yan. It's, it's for the benefit of the debtor. Anytime, John, it means before, before one year. Before oh, one oh. year. Pero after one year, ibang usapan na yun. Ay, na, ganun na. Nag-mature oh. naman na yung ano. Oh. Maging liable ka na dyan. Com- <laughs> the debtor can now be compelled to pay. Yeah. Yes, madedemand letter ka pa dyan ng mm-hmm. iyong ano, creditor. Ano. Mm-hmm. So, uh, alimbawa naman, isa pa example. Yes, the debtor promised to pay his debt on or before December 31, 2004. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, may option ang debtor pwedeng before December 31, 2004 or kaya pwedeng at mismong December 31, 2004 siya magbayad. Parang actually, parang pareho lang din siya dun sa within one year, yung kanina example natin. No? Ito lang, ginamit na term is on or before December 31, 2000. And take note yung example natin kanina, without interest. Without interest, oh, yes. Oh, without interest. Aman, aman. Kasi pag may interest yun, for the benefit of both. Both. Oh, pag-usapan na yan, kasi may interest na pinag-uusapan. Yes. Okay? So, kung merong uh, terms na magde-denote na it's for the benefit of the debtor, yung period, pwede rin namang uh, for, for the, the benefit, benefit of, the of the creditor. The creditor. So, okay. the creditor may demand fulfillment even before the arrival of the term, but the debtor cannot require him to accept payment before the expiration of the stipulated period. Mm-hmm. Ayun naman yung kabaliktara nung if the term is for the benefit of mm-hmm. the debtor. Ito naman for the benefit of the so, hindi pa man dumadating yung period, pwede na mag-demand yes. si creditor, no? Pero, <laughs> pero, pero si debtor, if he wishes to pay before uh, the, arrival the, period, the arrival of the period, he cannot do so. Without the consent of the yes. creditor. Mm-hmm. So, halimbawa, si debtor, Madaya pala to. Kasi okay. <laughs> the debtor, halimbawa, ako, nanghiram ako sa'yo ng 100,000. Ah, creditor ako. Oh, ito okay. si creditor. Tapos, 1,000 payable on December 31 with the stipulation that B cannot make payment before the lapse uh-huh. of the period. Pero ikaw daw, you may demand okay. fulfillment even before the said date. Paano kung nangutang ako ngayon tapos kinabukasan? Gusto na niya akong sabihin. <laughs> Kaya nga eh. Uh, ano yan? Nasa pag-craft nyo kasi yan ng, ano, ng usapan nyo, ng contract nyo. That's why it's very important kapag malalaki ang pinag-usapan, you hire a lawyer okay. to protect, protect your interest. interest. You hire uh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Very subtle advertisement mm-hmm. tayo dyan, no? Pero yun, uh, totoo yun. Especially pag malalaking ano, uh, money yung pinag-uusapan natin dito. Mm-hmm. You need uh, to consult a lawyer so that protected kayo. Because there are provisions of law like this na pag mm-hmm. unaware kayo, you'll be caught off guard talaga. Yes. Okay. Peperma kayo ng peperma. Oo, oh, okay. game peperma ng peperma sa so oh, mga ganyan. Oh. Tindihin muna. Oh, okay. Kasi baka naman yung pinipare ni creditor talagang for the benefit of the creditor ng siyang siya na nga. Mm. Okay. So, you be dead. Okay? okay? So, period na papag-usapan natin dito. At pag period ang pinag-usapan dito, lagi may computation dyan eh. Yes. <laughs> Mapapakompute ka talaga no. dyan. So, computation of term or period. Ano ba yung basis natin dyan? Atur, so, our basis is Administrative Code of 1987 or Executive Order number. No. 292. Mm-hmm. However, so, this uh, Administrative Code of 1987 provides uh, legal periods. Mm-hmm. Ano ba yung mga legal periods natin? Year. Yung year, it is understood to be 12 calendar months. Mm-hmm. So, tapos yung months, understood to be of 30 days. Unless it refers to 
specific month in which it shall be computed according to the number of days the specific month contains. Kung monthly, halimbawa, monthly rentals ang sinabi. So, 30 days, 30 days, 30 days yon. Pero kung sinabi na uh, February, specific na month ng February, so 28 days or 29 days as the case may be. So, take note of that guys, kasi kapag yes. nga nasa kontrata nyo, nasa agreement nyo, kapag bumabagit kayo ng term na year, ibig sabihin nun, yung sinabi nga natin, months, ay kanina, calendar, calendar months. months, from January to December. Okay. Hindi yun yung, yung sinasabi na 365 days and one fourth days na sinasabi. Ben, ben. Eh, kasi hindi year, naman laging ganun, oh, okay. paano pag leap year. Oh, oh. Tama. <laughs> so, ano, hmm. ibang usapan niya. Pero definite na 12 lang ang ating months. Oo, oh, hindi oh. naman pwede lang ang pass dyan. Oo, oh, ganun din yung sa month. Yung day naman is 24 hours, tapos yung night is from sunset to sunrise. So, so mga ganyan, merong provision ang batas mm-hmm. as regards uh, the same. So, to illustrate, halimbawa guys, um, Mm-hmm. Yung one calendar month from December 31, 20, 2007 will be from January 1, 2008 to January 31, 2008. So one calendar month from January 31, 2008 will be from February 1, 2008 until February 29, 2008. So take note of this example. So attorney, uy, nababanggit mo itong administrative code. Okay. Um, uh, of 1987 and may nabanggit ka dyan na sabi mo pag one year it's 12 calendar months yes. kaso naalala ko kasi sa civil code mm-hmm. na sinasabi sa civil code na ang one year ay equivalent to 365 uh, days yes. whether it be a regular year or a leap year mm-hmm. eh paano natin i-reconcile tong dalawang ito? So gagamit tayo ng ating principles sa statutory construction mm-hmm. sinabi dyan uh, the administrative code of 1987 being the more recent law shall govern the computation of legal periods. Hmm. Kasi kailan ba nag-take effect ang ano nga ulit? Civil code? It was in 1950. 1950. 1950. Uh, around August that, that year. 1950. Yes. 1950. Oh, oh. Ang administrative code of 1987, 1887, it means na yung later law or yung more recent law will prevail hmm. over the uh, previous law or so, the prior law. There is an implied ratification mm-hmm. of the previous law which is the civil code. So ngayon, ang governing sa atin as to the computation of the periods would be the administrative code of 1987. So please, huwag kayong ma-confuse on that. Okay? Yes. So prevailing ang administrative code of 1987 as to the period. Yes. So let's now go to Article 1197. So it provides that if the obligation does not fix a period but from its nature and the circumstances, it can be inferred that a period was intended, the courts may fix the duration thereof. The courts shall also fix the duration of the period when it depends upon the will of the debtor. In every case, the courts shall determine such period as may under the circumstances have been probably contemplated by the parties. One fix, once fixed by the courts, the period cannot be changed by them. Mm-hmm. So, nababanggit natin dito kasi na uh, merong somehow may limited authority yung court to mm-hmm. fix a period but yes. we have to take note guys that the court generally is without the power to fix a period and yes. the period being mentioned in this article 1197 is it refers to a judicial period as distinguished from the period which is being fixed by the parties in their contract which we pertain as the contractual period and as a general rule if the obligation does not state a period, no? Yes. And no period is intended, the court is not authorized to fix a period. Kasi kung makikita naman sa agreement na wala naman talagang intention ng parties to put a period, then the court cannot come yes. to fix a period for the parties. The yes. only time that the court can fix a period is when there is a manifest intention on the parties to uh, be bound by a period. To be bound by a period and yet hindi lang nila na-reflect dun sa yes. kanilang agreement. So again, the courts have no right to make contracts for the parties, no? So nag interpret lang ang court ng contracts na meron at parties to reflect their intentions. But there is an exception to this general yes. rule. That is just the general rule, okay? Yes. So exceptions to the general rule, when no period is fixed but a period was intended. Again, in general rule natin, courts are not empowered or not authorized to fix a period for the parties. Exception doon, when there is no period but 
a period was intended by the parties. So walang nakalagay na period, pero makikita mo naman, by the way, the agreement was crafted na parang may intention naman to be bound by a period. But the contract or the agreement fails to fix the period. So ano mangyayari dyan na parang hindi? So if the obligation does not fix a period, but it can be inferred from its nature and circumstances that the period was intended by the parties, the court may fix the period. So for example, attorney O, si X. Si X. Sino X? Ibang X to, letter X. Hindi siya E-X. Okay, so X, letter X. Yung kong usapan. So si X, um, Nag-agree siya to construct the house of why. And the parties failed to fix the period within which the construction is to be made. Dalimbawa, yeah. nagpagawa nga ng bahay si... si uh, Alibawa ko, ah, nagpagawa ko ng bahay yeah. kay engineer. Ah, engineer, attorney, engineer, ako, engineer oh. Oh. attorney Oy Oy. Uh, engineer, medyo kumita-kita ako. Nakalawag-lawag na ako. Gusto ko magpagawa ng bahay. Mm -hmm. So, eto naman. Sige, oh, go, gawin natin. Ang problema mo ka mo, nag-start na ako mag-construct ng bahay niya, ay wala naman kami napag-usapan kung gaano ba katagal. Oh, eh, pwede bang indefinite ang paggagawa ko ng bahay niya, Atty. Uy, uy, anong mangyayari dyan, Atty. Uy? Pwede ko bang sabihin na, alam ba, naka tatlong taon ang ginagawa ko yung bahay ni Atty. Uy. Pwede ko bang sabihin kay Atty. Eh, ba't ka? Eh, wala naman tayo napag-usapan na, ano, na period eh. Kaya Pero sinabi ko, ko naman sa sa'yo na titirahan na namin yun. Mm -hmm. oh. Three years na wala pa rin. So here, the court can fix the term for it is evident that both of us intended that Attorney Marali should construct the house within a certain period. Kasi it's illogical for the owner of a supposed house na magpagawa ng bahay na indefinite kung kailan matatapos ang bahay niya. So normally sa amin, sa practice engineering, It, it takes mga around three months to construct wow. a house. So, uh -huh. uh, I don't know, the court in making a decision can based on uh, kung ano ba talaga uh -huh. so yung practice. practice ng construction. Uh -huh. no? So, in that case, malinaw guys na hindi man nakapag-fix yung parties <laughs> ng period pero intended naman na magkaroon ng period. So, that is an exception to the general, general rule. Okay. Yan, yung isa pang exception, when the duration of the period depends upon the will of the debtor. As uh -huh. in, Uh, provi as provided under Article 1180 of the Civil Code. Mm -hmm. So, yun. Yun yung 1180, yes. yung depends upon the will of the debtor. Mm -hmm. okay. So, you go back to the... 1180, <laughs> yung sinabi natin, yung duration lang, yung duration of the period to pay, yun lamang yung, or to fulfill the obligation, yun lang yung nakadepend sa will ng debtor. Ah, ba, ah ito yun yung ano, yung example niya. Hindi I'll yung pay you, whether uh, I like it or not. Uh, 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 I'll pay you, ano, uh, sinabi doon, from time to time, uh, uh, di ba? Pag sinabi niya, little by little. little, by little. So, hindi man nga na-fix doon yung period, ano ba yung little by little? Ano ba yung from time to time? Uh, Pero may intention naman on the part of the debtor to actually pay. Uh, uh, so, doon, pwede pumasok ang court na i-fix niya. Sige, i-define okay, natin yung little yung, by little oh. na yan. I-define natin yung from time to time na yan. Okay. Sige. So, whenever the court fixes the term of an obligation, obligation. it does not thereby amend or modify yes. the same, but is merely enforcing the implied stipulation of the parties. It merely enforces or carries out the intention of the parties. Yes, because the court cannot arbitrarily fix a period out of thin air. Yes. Thin air, yes. So, in short lang nun, guys, <laughs> hindi, hindi gagawa ng kontrata or magdadagdag ng provision ang court, court para sa inyong dalawa. Mm -hmm. I-interpret lang nyo. Di ba na-discuss natin yan? Yes. Anong, ano, ano, interpret. Uh, uh, yes, anong responsibility ng judiciary or ng Supreme Court is to interpret the, the contract. Contract. Kung ano yung oh. napag-agrihan natin. Okay, so, uh, proceeding, attorney, uy, Uh, let's talk about the legal effect where suspensive period or condition depends upon the will of, of the, the debtor. debtor. Okay. So the existence of the obligation is not affected although the period depends upon the sole will of the debtor. It is only the performance with respect to time that is left to the will of the debtor. Yun na yung Article 1180. Mm -hmm. 
yung sinasabi natin. Yung number two naman, if the obligation is subject to a condition which depends upon the sole will of the debtor, the conditional obligation is void because in such case, it is actually the fulfillment of the obligation that depends upon the will of the debtor. So, dito pinag-iba lang yung suspensive period versus suspensive condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, take note of that. Yung effect of the if the effect if the suspensive period depends upon the will of the debtor and okay sabi natin yun. okay pwede because what is just left to the will of the debtor is the time or the duration of the period okay, pero kapag yung if the suspensive condition is left to the sole will of the debtor yan yung potestative condition mm -hmm. that is void it will invalidate the conditional obligation Kasi nakadepende na nga sa kanya kung gagawin niya or hindi. Eh, hindi naman pwede makapal kasi voluntary servitude yan in a way. Right. So, hindi na period na pinag-usapan dyan. Condition na talaga. Right. So, that's why the obligation itself becomes void. void. So, let's go to another rule here. no um, Another rule is that the period fix cannot be changed by the courts. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin niya na so it means that if there is a period agreed upon by the parties and it has already lapsed or expired, the court cannot fix another period. Mm -hmm. eh, kasi nga, may nag-fix naman ang period. May period naman. Pero nag-expire na. So, gusto ang court ulit ang mag-fix. So, the court cannot do that. In so, default, may isa dyan. Oo. Yung kasi, ang sinabi nga lang natin, the courts are only empowered to fix the period if... No period is fixed, no, no period is fixed but the period was intended. At saka, duration of period depends upon the will of the debtor. Debt Pero kung malino naman, may, na, may naka-fix na ano dyan hmm. na duration or period tapos naglapse na yun eh you cannot go to the course and ask for assistance kasi actually you are in default so uh, hindi pwedeng uh, sasaklolo sa yung korte para mapagtakpan yung iyong uh, hindi pagbabayad on time okay uh, <laughs> so you, you cannot avail this remedy in that case because again the court cannot uh, change uh, the, period. the period if it's already been fixed by the, the parties especially kapag uh -huh. naglapse na yun okay so, from the very yes. moment, the parties give their acceptance and consent to the period fixed by the court. Ito naman yung, uh, 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 this is uh, another uh, example naman na kapag, uh, alimbawa naman, dun sa example na binigay natin kanina, uh, um, walang naka-fix na period pero may intention. So, dinala niya sa court. Uh -uh. Now, si court, nag-fix nag nag ng, ng period. Pag nangyari yun, guys, from that very moment, the parties give their acceptance and consent to the period which is fixed by the court. Yes, the said period acquires the nature of a contract. Mm -hmm. Because the effect of such acceptance and consent by the parties is exactly the same as if they had expressly agreed upon it. And having been agreed upon by them, it becomes the law governing their contract. Mm -hmm. However, the parties may modify the term by a new agreement. So, yung remedy mo, kung ayaw mo nung kay court, kung hindi kay, kung hindi kay satisfied, so you make a new agreement. Make a new agreement. Yeah. Ang pagsapan natin yan sa contract, kung yung possibility na yun, baguhin mo yung original agreement, a new agreement, and mm -hmm. uh, yan. Okay. So, alright, that's it uh, when it comes to uh, fixing a period.